on today's video, we'll be going over how to set your schedule on your Core 7 thermostat, and then we'll be also covering how to set up your Wi-Fi on your thermostat. We hope that this video is helpful and able to guide you on these process. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to go over how to adjust the schedule. So right now, this is your screensaver. We're going to hit the start button. We are going to go to the menu. And as you can see, your schedule is blinking. So that's letting you know that's what you're selecting. From here, you're going to go select. You're on the number one and your profile is blinking. Your profiles is basically your temperature ranges. So right there, you're gonna adjust your heating ranges, your cooling ranges, and if you want to turn your fan on auto or on. So we'll go select. So right now, you are on the wake. So right now, we are on the wake. So that's basically when you're waking up. Your next step is when you're away, so you're leaving for work. Your next step is going to be home when you're returning from home. The next step is when you're going to sleep. Over here is your heat setting and as you notice the 74 is blinking on the heat. So right here is your adjustment desire. So if you like your home to be heating at 69, you'll adjust the up and down. From there you're going to hit the next and now it's moved to the cooling and you're going to adjust your cooling down to your preference. So you can have a 73. Uh, just keep in mind that these two temperatures have to be two degrees off from each other. If you try to go any lower than that two degree range, it's gonna fight with each other. So one of the two is going to either move or up. So for example, if we try to move the heating to 68, then it's gonna make your cooling go to 70. So just keep that in mind. When you have adjusted your cooling setting, you're gonna hit next. Now your fan is blinking. So this option is where you can turn your fan on on or leave it on auto. To change the setting on the fan, all you have to do is just select the up or down arrow and select your preference. Once you have adjusted your desire on the wake, you're going to hit next. Now we have moved to the away setting. So you'll be repeating all the steps all over again. You're going to select your heating desire. Once you have done that, you're gonna move over to the cooling, select your desire, go next. Again, select your fan, whether you want it on auto or on and you're gonna go over to the next setting and repeat that for your home. Cooling, fan, and then again, your final selection is gonna be your sleep and you're going to set those ranges up for your heating, your cooling, your fan. And at this point, you don't really need to go to the next. All you have to do is hit the menu and it brings you back to your profiles. And that completes adjusting your temperature desires on this. Now that we're back on the profiles, we're going to adjust the time and the days that you want to select your heating and cooling schedule. From here, you're going to go up to pro, uh, program, which is your number two setting, and you're going to select this section. So what we'll be doing here is adjusting the days. So you can do all days weekdays, weekends, and an individual day, just depending on your schedule. Um, for this training purposes, we're gonna just do weekdays, Monday through Friday. We're gonna hit select. And kind of what we did previous, previously, you have your wake, away, home, and sleep, and you'll be adjusting the time settings for each individual time. All right, so you can see that the seven is blinking. So that's just letting us know that's our selection. Above that, you can see we've selected our days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And above that, you can see we're on the wake setting. So what you will do now is select your time for the awake, which we are waking up right now. 
We're going to select 6 a.m. You're going to hit next. Now we're in the minutes, and that's going to do 15 minute increments. So you can do 15, 6.30. Once you have adjusted that, you're going to go next. And then from there, you're going to select whether it's a.m. or p.m. Once you have selected that, so now we are on the way and we are going to select your hour preference. From there, you're going to select your minutes. You're going to select your AM or PM setting. Once you have selected that, hit next. And now we're in the home, so that's when you are returning from home. Here's a pro tip for you. Set it an hour ahead of you coming home. That way when you get home, uh, your temperature is where you want it. You can hit next. Now we moved on to the sleep. And then from there again, adjust your hours, adjust your minutes, and whether it's a.m. or p.m. Now that we have adjusted the sleep time, all you need to do next is hit start. And that brings you back to your menu and you have successfully completed your schedule setting. Now that we've successfully completed the schedule setting, keep in mind that you don't have to go and change your schedule just because you're doing something out of the ordinary. Uh, on the left hand side, you have your wake, away, home, sleep. So let's say you are going grocery shopping and you're going out of your schedule. Um, you can hit the away, which that's gonna bring your temperature to the away. And then your hold button is gonna determine when it's going to go back to its normal schedule. So it's selecting for it to go back to the schedule once it hits that time of sleep. You can have it hold the cancel. You can permanently hold that away setting or you can adjust for it to go back to a normal schedule at a certain time. Once you have selected your preference, uh, for example, let's say we just want to hold that until we are back onto the sleep setting. And just select that and it's going to stay on the way. To connect your Core 7 thermostat to Wi-Fi, we're going to be hitting the start menu to activate your screen. We're going to go to menu. Um, once again, your schedule is blinking, so what you want to do is hit next until you see the Wi-Fi blinking. You're going to select. From here, you're going to go up and you're going to enable the updates on the thermostat. We want to check for updates. We want to select. We want to say yes. From here, you're going to go to the menu. Now we're going to scan for a Wi-Fi. We want to scan Wi-Fi. We're going to hit select. Uh, keep in mind that it could pick up your neighbor's Wi-Fi, so you want to double check that your screen shows your Wi-Fi. If it does not show, you have the option to go up and down and scan other Wi-Fi's in your neighborhood um, until you find yours. Once you have yours showing, you want to hit select. From here, you're going to go back up and you're going to enter the Wi-Fi password. Once again, you're going to hit select. You do not want to view it because you haven't edited it or entered it, so you want to change it. You want to hit select. So once you've selected to change your password on here, um, you have to cycle through all the lowercase to get to the uppercase, and then you have to cycle through the uppercase to get to symbols. And once you get through the symbols, then you're going to have the number showing. Um, and then you have to individually select your letter, and then you're going to hit next to go to the next letter, so on and so on. This is case sensitive, so if you have an uppercase or lowercase letter, you will have to make sure you enter those accordingly. If your password has any symbols, uh, that's going to be very hard for it to recognize the symbols with this thermostat. So we recommend changing your password on your router 
to remove any symbols on there if possible. Now that we've entered the password, you're going to hit start, and then you can see the connection is starting, and it will let you know whether it's successfully connected or it did not connect. Now that you are connected to the internet, you'll be able to download the app and start connecting your phone to the thermostat and be able to operate your system with your phone. We hope that you found this training helpful and able to guide you through all these settings. If you have any questions, feel free to call us with the Core 7 stack questions. Have a good day.